What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what we're used to. So usually we're doing a vending video where we're stocking up vending machines or, you know, collecting or things like that. Today's going to be more of a vlog style video where we're actually going to pick up a machine and it's not your standard machine. What we're actually going to do is we're going to go pick up a machine that we actually cannot use. And I know you're probably wondering, why would you do that, Matt? Well, let me tell you. So the machine that we're going to get is a coin pusher machine. And as you know, we can't operate them here in South Carolina. Now people can have them in their home for home use or things like that. And I've actually owned a coin pusher in my home before, in my home game room, uh, but I was never able to put it out on location and operate it because it's, it's considered gambling here in South Carolina. So today we're actually gonna go buy one. And again, we're not used, we're not going to buy it for us to put on location or for even for us to use in our game room. What my plan for this machine today is actually to take it home, clean it up, make sure everything's working right, and actually bring it with us to the next auction because they sell really well at auction and that will help us to fund other machines, other projects, other things like that for the channel, for the business, something like that. So who knows? Who knows how it's gonna work? It's something I thought we'd try. I thought it might be fun to document the process. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Anyway, let's get on the road. Let's, uh, let's go pick up the machine. Maybe we'll see some cool things along the way uh, and we'll bring it back to the shop and we'll get it cleaned up again. And then like I said, we'll, uh, we'll get it ready for auction. So stick around guys, hope you enjoy the video. All right, guys, here we got the coin pusher all unloaded. We're about to boot it up for the first time and see how things are going. Now, one thing I want to let you know, when I unloaded this, I heard some quarters moving around inside, so it might be cool to see how many quarters are inside this machine when we open it up. Who knows what we'll find? It's a bit of an older one, as you can see, um, but it seems like it's gonna be pretty cool for the auction. We'll get it all ready. We're gonna get it all cleaned up. Uh, one thing I had to laugh at though, look, look at this. So whoever had it, they glued a bunch of quarters to the outside for decoration. So I, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> who knows? All right, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Let's see what happens. Let's see how it's working. Ding. All right. Looks like it works just fine. It needs some lighting though. I'll, I'll probably put some lighting in it. Uh, but you can see the motor works good. It's uh, it's got a couple quarters. I'm just gonna test a couple quarters in it just to make sure the coin mechs work. That one worked. I think the coin mechs need a little cleaning. There we go, that one worked. And that one worked. So all was well there, that's good. So all in all, um, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to oil the, the, the gears and the motor real good, clean it of course, put some new lighting in it, and then it should be ready to go. Maybe some new locks, then it should be ready to go for the auction. I mean, check it out though guys, it looks pretty cool. Not too bad. All right, let's go and get this thing cleaned up. All right, next thing I wanna do, I wanna open up the back. We'll take a look inside. We'll see if we can find any quarters. We'll see how the motor looks, but it's just held in with a couple, looks like screws. any of you wondered how all this works it's pretty uh ooh. so look at this we, we got some 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 <laughs> gross uh quarters here with this like grease and oil it's probably some down in the bottom too what is this oh my god look at all those coins 
Holy cow. It had it had a cushion in there so it deadened the sound. Look at all those tokens and quarters and stuff, guys. My goodness. That's uh, much better than I thought it was going to be. Let me get some light in there. One second. All right, here's some light in here. We're going to clean all these out. These uh, There's a ton of tokens in here and quarters as well. This is, These are Namco tokens with Pac-Man on them. See that? Pac-Man, Namco. And of course, there's a, there's a bunch of quarters in here too. So uh, I'm going to go pull all those out and then we'll lay them all out so you can kind of see exactly how much of a refund we're getting here. So we'll see. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here is all of the tokens and quarters that were in the cabbage. It fills up this whole giant cup. And I don't know what's what. Like, some of these are tokens. This one's from Freedom Station. It's got the Statue of Liberty on it. And there's just tokens from all kinds of different arcades in here, plus a bunch of quarters. Let's pour them out so you can see just how many things are in here. I mean, there's just so much. A bunch of garbage, too, like screws and bolts and stuff, but pieces of wood, all of that. But I mean, look how many coins there are. There's so many quarters in here, too, guys. Lots of quarters. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. We'll, we'll count it up and we'll figure out what's what. And then we'll show you all this great stuff. Look how cool that is, guys. I love finding all this in, in machines. So I love buying machines like this because you never know what you're going to find. I mean, for example, here's a... Uh, Peter Piper, that was an arcade pizza place back in the day. Pretty cool. Um, you know, the Peter Piper. That's just like a, I don't know, the Eagles, like all kinds of cool stuff. So we're gonna go through all this. And like I said, we'll get, get it all cleaned up and we'll count it out and we'll, we'll be back and show off all the cool stuff. And then we'll work on cleaning the actual machine. All right, we got the quarters and the tokens separated. I haven't counted the quarters yet, but here's all the quarters. They're pretty gross. So we're gonna clean them. And then here is all the arcade, this is arcade, car wash, laser tag, golf. There's so many different kinds of tokens in here. We're going to clean these up too. And I've got a special way to clean these. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean all this stuff up. Um, and when, when, the, when I'm done with these, these things are going to look brand new. So just watch and see. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the quarters. And then we'll, we'll throw them in the scale. We'll weigh them out and see how many quarters there are. We'll clean these too, but that's going to be, you know, part of the later part of the video. Um, lots of great stuff. Obviously, we're going to clean up the machine. We're going to get it ready to go. It's going to be auction ready by the time we're done. And then we'll take it to the auction to see how it does. So let me get these cleaned up. And then we'll see how much money in the refund or quarters we got here. And then we'll be back. All right, we're here in the studio. We've got all of our quarters all cleaned. Some of them were pretty gross, covered in like grease and grossness so we got all those cleaned up we rinsed them real good they're dried off it's time to weigh them to see how much of a refund we're getting from this machine so here we go we're going to pour the quarters right here into the scales you can see we've got our scale at 25 cents currently at zero let's pour our quarters in. And our scale shut down huh <laughs> let's try that again I think our batteries are getting low, so we're going to need to replace the batteries here. Let's try this again. So we've got our scale ready to go. We've got our quarters cleaned. Let's pour them into the scale and see how much of a refund we got from this machine. Looks like $39.50, $39.50 for a refund. We'll take that. So we paid $175 for the machine. Let's subtract $39.50. Um, you know, that's, that's roughly what, 135 bucks almost. So that's what we've gotten into it basically at this point. One, yeah, 135, 135 50, we'll say. Okay, cool. So we'll get those rolled up. We'll take those to the bank. Let's get to work on cleaning the machine and getting it ready for auction. All right, on to the next item of business. Let's take a look inside the machine here. You can see it's crazy. They just use PVC pipes from the coin mechanisms to drop the coins into the play field. And somebody has wired this up. We got a rope light here that we're actually gonna replace. Um, here's the alarm right here for when somebody shakes the machine. It makes this, this plumb bob, you know, make a contact with the switch and then sets the alarm off. But somebody, somebody wired in the power switch. And I know this is pretty silly looking, look at that. Just a regular like light switch. So we're actually gonna take that off. We're gonna pull the, um, the wires in back into the cabinet. I don't know if I'll do a power switch there or not. I might just use the plug in, uh, you know, plug it in or unplug it to turn the power on and off. 
Uh, we got the bottom cleaned out. We got the coins counted. Let's go ahead next and I'll set up for the next shot. One second here. All right, next what we're gonna do is we are actually going to clean this cup full of arcade, car wash, golf, everything tokens. So that way we can see them better. Just even, like right now you can see they're, they're just kind of old and worn out looking. Um, this process we're gonna use is actually gonna clean them and make them look almost brand new. And then we'll kind of go through and show you some of the cool tokens we found. There's gonna be a lot of different kinds of tokens in here. Um, but what we're gonna use, we're actually gonna use a vibra vibratory tumbler. This is what a lot of different people use for reloading ammunition and things like that. Um, I have it filled with just crushed walnut, and this is actually the DIY cheap way of doing it. I went to the pet store and bought some lizard bedding, the crushed, wa crushed walnut lizard bedding for my vibratory tumbler. I'm just gonna pour the, the tokens right in just like this. You know, so many of them in here. Look at all those tokens. And then, I'm gonna shake it around a bit. They're actually gonna cycle through this uh, this media and clean them. But we're also, because most of these tokens are actually made out of brass, we're gonna put some uh, some brasso in here as well. And that'll help give it that extra little oomph when it comes to cleaning. So I'm just gonna give it a couple squirts. Brasso, just like this. And that's about all we need. Then we're just gonna put the lid on. And what I like about this tumbler is you can kind of still see everything through, through the lid, even though it's dusty. Tighten that down. And we'll let that, we'll let this run, who knows, maybe for a day, maybe two days. And then we'll come back to it and check it and see how things are looking. But uh, let's go get that started up. And then we'll move on to the next step. These tokens have been tumbling for about 48 hours, just over two days, um, or actually just under two days. And uh, I've only stopped it twice, each time to insert or to add some more Brasso. This is just a basically a metal polish to um, the walnut shell medium. So this part's a little messy, it's a little dusty. What I've got is I've got an old bucket here and a, an old kind of metal basket from the dollar store. And all I'm gonna do is pour the contents from this in here, and then this will sift out the, uh, the walnut shell media. And it's gonna be really dusty, so I'm probably gonna back the camera up a little bit. I don't wanna get the camera all dusty. Let's just do this. Let's open this up here. And before we dump it out, we'll take a look at a couple of these. So if you remember before what these things looked like, and here's what they look like now. Look how nice and um, like brand new those things look. Of course, they're a little dusty from the, from the media, but they look like they're brand new. So you can see that on the camera pretty good. Maybe I'll try and put a before and after up on the screen here so you can kind of see the difference. But there's a Peter Piper Pizza Arcade token and it looks it looks pretty brand new. Uh, there's probably a couple different kinds in here. Here's just a, like a regular metal one. Pretty shiny looking, I don't know. We'll go through some of these. Let's go ahead and pour them out though into this bucket. Like I'm gonna back the camera up just a little bit to so try to not get it too dusty. All right, we're just gonna pour these in here. Like I said, it's pretty dusty. And all we're gonna do is just shake this out. Flying tokens. I'm trying not to breathe this in. So look at this guy. Look at all these, how nice these tokens look. They're all nice and shiny and pretty looking. They look great. So we'll go through some of those later probably. Um, take a quick glance at some of them here. Let's see. I know I saw some Cinemark tokens in here I thought was pretty cool. From the movie theater chain. Lots of those Peter Piper tokens. Here's a different a different version of Peter Piper tokens. Pretty cool. 
This is a boom, a, a boomer's arcade. I've never seen, eh, I think I actually have one of those in my collection. Um, lots of, like, like I said, lots of great tokens though. Some of them, some of them you're not saving. That one, uh, this one says stop and play. This one didn't clean up very good, but uh, most of them look, you know, almost brand new. So pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get back to cleaning the coin pusher machine. All right, guys, we got everything kind of gone through. We've cleaned up the electrical work. We put a new LED light up underneath. So now it's got light. Of course, it, it hasn't been cleaned yet, so this thing still needs a great cleaning. Um, we've got the glass off. We're just doing some work to it now. Like I said, we got it all, the electrical all fixed up. The motor probably still needs some oil. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in so you can see it lit up. You can kind of hear the motor. So let's plug it in for you. A big loud click. What that is? That's the trap door. Um, see if you can see it. Down in there, right down in there is the trap door. And what happens is when it first starts up, it's set this way, like a ramp facing this way, so that if any coins are falling when it's turned off, it falls down into like like say if somebody tries to tip the machine when it's powered off, the the ramp is set this way so the coins will fall down into the the operator bucket. After it turns on, after 10 seconds after it being on, it'll click like that and the ramp will flip like this. So then now the coins will fall into the winnings area. So that's why that, that's what that loud noise was, in case you were wondering. So all we need to do now is really just get this thing cleaned up, make it look good, uh, you know, polish this up real good, try and make this look better. It's got a bunch of dust and dirt and stuff in here. We wanna make it look nice and clean so that when we do take it to the auction, we'll get top dollar for it. Um, and you don't really see them like this anymore. So hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully it'll go for some good money. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get it wiped down, and uh, then it should be just about ready to go. Right, so the inside is clean. All I need to do is clean the front, the glass, clean the outside of the cabinet, and I need to do something about the leveling. So this cabinet, the, the footing on it, it rocks. See like this? So I need to fix that too. I'm gonna need to level it out um, and get that all taken care of. And then once that's all taken care of, we should just be about done. So I'm gonna do all this bit, this last bit off camera. And then once I have it complete, I'll come back and show you the final product when it's ready to go to auction. So stick around. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, so just a status update. What we've done is we replaced the LED light in this machine. We cleaned it real good. We oiled the motor. We rewired the electric. Uh, what else did we do? We put the new foot on the bottom so it's not all wobbly anymore. This game is ready to go and it's gonna go to auction. So I just wanna give you a, kind of a brief overview of what the machine looks like when it's ready to go. Okay, we're gonna take this to the next auction, probably in Tennessee, uh, coming up here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, that way you can see the results of the auction and what happens with this machine, how much it sells for, all that good stuff. Ultimately, I would love to put this in our flea market arcade, but these machines are not legal in the state of South Carolina to operate. They're legal to own, but not to operate because they could be considered gambling and therefore, South Carolina doesn't let us do it. Otherwise, this machine would be going to the flea market location in order for us to push some quarters. But apparently that's not the case. So, I don't know, I wish I wish we could. But it's gonna go to auction. So anyway guys, just wanted to wrap this video up. I wanted to show you the final results. We went and picked this machine up in South Carolina. We brought it home, we cleaned it up, we did some fixes on it. 
uh, like I said, new LED light, new electrical work, um, cleaned the motor, cleaned out all those coins and tokens from inside, cleaned the machine down, wiped it all up and everything good to go. So it's now ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. We're going to take this machine to the arcade pinball vending coin up at All Things Cool Auction. So make sure you subscribe so that way you can see the results of what this machine sells for and ultimately if this was a good buy for us or not. So again, hope you like this kind of more vlog style and then into the shop video. But with that said, it's time to wrap this video up, guys. So once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.